All right, so you are looking at the extruder of a TiVo Tarantula Pro. Uh, and as you see here, the filament has begun to eat through the guide that leads into the extruder. That is very common with plastic parts. That's why on the Ender 3 I replaced it with an aluminum extruder arm. I don't, however, have another aluminum arm on hand, but this is getting a little bit out of control. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this here. And the first thing we need to do is remove the filament. So I have preheated my printer here. We're gonna push in a little bit and then just pull it out and you can see it. Sorry about the camera there. You can see it jumping out the top there. And there we go, we are back in focus now. I'm just gonna grab my bag of tools here. And we can go ahead and shut this guy down because we don't need power for this part. So it is a little bit loud, we'll quiet it down. That way I don't have to worry about you being able to hear me on the camera there. So we are gonna find the right Allen key. We're gonna remove the top plate here. If we can hang on to our wrench, that is. Jeez, man, I got the dropsies today. There it is. All right. You want to make sure you keep track of all these bolts because we are going to put them back in later. I'm actually at the moment removing the whole extruder as well. Um, so the motor might drop out here in a second. There it goes. So remember to make sure you hang on to that so you don't lose it. And go ahead and remove that. We can pop the top here. This is the piece that we need to replace. So in order to get it out, we need to keep on unscrewing screws. Now this one you're gonna to wanna to keep track of. Uh, it should be pretty easy. Now that I notice it turns out it is a slightly larger size Allen key. So one second while I fish that out of the pile here. There's too many of these things. Um, too small, let's see. This guy is the one we want. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you hang on to all the pieces. You don't want any springs to go flying anywhere or anything like that. Right, so one more bolt here. And when you take this one, that spring might go flying off. So I, I just hold it in place there. Hopefully I'm still in frame. I can't see my screen, so. Almost. It seems like it doesn't want to come out here. All right, so the last thing we need to do is remove this screw. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and get it out because I'm having issues and I don't want to pull it out of the frame and pry on it here. So give me just a second. We will be right back. All right, so we have retrieved our arm. It took some doing. You will notice that there is a ball bearing, or not a ball bearing, but a rolling bearing inserted in there. Um, we will be reusing this. It, it will slide right out this side here if you're careful. And we will replace it the same way in the new one that we're printing. The first thing we need to do is go and knock up a paper sketch of this so we can get the dimensions all accurate before we start sketching it up in Fusion 360 to print our new part. So let's get a good look at this part we're going to be printing. It was a pretty simple build. I measured the part that I took off 
and just did some quick knock-up schematics and a couple of minor adjustments and there we have it that is our end result right there it is uh, pretty close to the one that we have now this knob here is a little bit further over to the left than in the uh, original model but it is working really well so we're gonna go ahead and run with this right so we've replaced our armature we're now ready to screw it back on and replace the motor so to do that you bring the motor back up make sure we line everything back up start passing through our machine screws oops actually it would be beneficial if I put the top back on clips on here like this make sure that wheels in there right get it seated in there, don't want to tighten it down too much just yet. This one actually doesn't go all the way through because, there we go. Uh, is this one shorter? The shorter bolt goes here towards the filament tube, towards the Bowden tube. So. Um, one last bolt here, then we'll tighten everything down, slide some filament in there, and see how we did. Everything seems to be looking all right. So. So we're missing the tube there because our filament is bent. So let's bend it back and see if we can fix that. There we go, into the tube. We are locked, loaded, and once again ready to print. Alright, so there we have it all locked, loaded, and ready to go. And I think this model is going to work pretty nicely. So, um, probably going to print a couple of these because it is just still plastic. So, we'll just eat through this one too. But uh, now we have a file that we can print whenever we need a new one. And it was pretty easy to replace. So, again, I apologize for the camera wavering out of the way there. Um, but this is a pretty simple install. It's just a swap. Uh, if you need a copy of this part, I will put it up on Thingiverse. You can go ahead and print it for yourself and throw it on your TiVo whenever yours wears out. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I know it was short and sweet. Just a little mod to the TiVo here to repair some damage that had been done by filament wearing through the guide. And, and if you found this video helpful, hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. And that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for stopping by. If you'd like to become a Technivore, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. 
and YouTube's suggesting a video for you right here. And there's a playlist right here that's just 3D printing stuff. Also, if you'd like to see your name up top with the rest of my Patreon supporters, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. There, you too can contribute to the channel and make the Technivorous channel even better.